The poor eat large amounts of food staples and they don't get the vegetables, the fruits, the animal products, the fish products that are usually high in minerals and vitamins. They want to eat them but they simply can't afford them. So the Harvest Plus strategy is to put the minerals and vitamins in those foods that they eat in large quantities already. The first step we give to the breeders, we give them targets. Put this much more, min this much more iron, this much more zinc, this much more provitamin A in the crop. So we do this through conventional breeding. We go to the germplasm banks. We find high mineral, high vitamin varieties and we cross them with high yielding varieties. We reach our target levels in varieties that are high yielding and just as profitable as what the farmers are presently growing. The second step in the process is to feed these new varieties to poor people who suffer from these mineral and vitamin deficiencies and to show under controlled conditions that they actually improve their iron, their zinc, and their vitamin A status. And the third step is to give them to the farmers, get the farmers to adopt them, to get the consumers to eat them. The first crop that we've rolled out is the high provitamin A sweet potato. Africans eat white sweet potato. If they would switch over to orange sweet potato, their vitamin A intakes would increase greatly. So we've done that in Uganda and Mozambique. We had 24,000 households where we had a pilot delivery uh, system put in place. We got adoption by 75% of the target households. Their vitamin A intakes increased for some groups, from, uh, they increased by two-thirds, other groups they doubled. Biofortification is very cost-effective. I, I started from that. I'm an economist by training. Um, the beauty of it is you spend the money up front in the agricultural research and you create a seed that can be transferred to country after country. And once those varieties are in the food system, they're available year after year after year.